Donald Trump defends his son from the fake news media and Twitter rant attacking latest reports about the controversial meeting with a Russian lawyer. Despite Don Jr. admitting to it, Donald Trump has launched into one of his trademark Twitter rants, this time defending his son, Don Jr., and attacking Hillary Clinton. The president sounded more like a protective father on Sunday morning when he attempted to discredit recent media reports regarding Donald Jr.'s meeting with a Russian-linked lawyer during the campaign who promised him dirt on Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton can illegally get the questions to the debate and delete 33,000 emails but my son Don is being scorned by the fake news media, Trump tweeted. He continued in another tweet, with all of its phony unnamed sources and highly slanted and even fraudulent reporting. Hashtag fake news is distorting democracy in our country. Trump also defended his own performance, after a new ABC News and Washington Post poll found his approval ratings hit 36 percent, the lowest figure during his time in office. The ABC slash Washington Post poll, even though almost 40 percent is not bad at this time, was just about the most inaccurate poll around election time. The president tweeted, The Washington Post's final poll published on November 7, said Clinton would win with a 49 to 46 margin. Hillary won 48 percent of the votes cast, while Trump won 45.9 percent, which would suggest it was actually fairly accurate, despite what the president tweeted. Trump's latest trend comes after it was reported Saturday night that his campaign forked over $50,000 to the law office now representing his son a little more than a week before news of his meeting with the Russian attorney surfaced. The payment to the law offices of Alan S. Futurfuzz, dated June 27, was disclosed in a filing with the Federal Election Commission on Saturday. It was described as covering legal consulting fees. Trump Jr. admitted to meeting with Russian lawyer Natalia Veselnitska on June 9 at his father's building in Manhattan. The meeting was also attended by then-campaign manager Paul Manafort, Trump's son-in-law and trusted advisor Jared Kushner, former Soviet counterintelligence officer Renat Akhmichi, and others, according to reports. Don Jr. was told in an email ahead of the meeting Veselnitska could provide him with information that would damage Hillary's campaign, and that the Russian government was in some way involved in the alleged dirt. The legal payments uncovered this weekend were described as consulting fees. The payment was made to Funerfis firm days before the story about the meeting broke, which caused a scramble inside the White House and Trump Tower to contain it. The disclosures do not say who Futurefuzz was hired to represent. Spokesmen for Trump's re-election campaign and Futurefuzz did not respond to requests for comment. Futurefuzz was revealed as Trump Jr.'s lawyer on Monday after a New York Times report detailed meetings between the president's eldest son and the Russian lawyer. Futurefuzz has not said when he was hired. Separately, the campaign also paid $89,561 for legal consulting to the Trump Corporation which is owned by the president. The scandal is the latest in a long line suggesting there have been links between people close to Trump and Russian figures. A federal special counsel and several congressional panels are investigating allegations by U.S. intelligence agencies that Russia meddled in the 2016 U.S. presidential election, as well as potential connections between Russian officials and the Trump campaign.